Hey guys, Alex here. Today I'm excited to introduce you to something that I've been working on for a while that can really improve your Comfy UI experience, the Comfy UI Environment Manager. Have you ever installed a custom node and suddenly found your entire setup exploded and then had to spend the next 20 or so minutes reinstalling Comfy UI just to get back to where you were before? Or maybe you tried downloading an old workflow off of Civit AI only to realize it's no longer compatible with the latest custom nodes. If so, this tool can save you lots of time and headaches. In this first video, I'm just gonna explain what it is, why it's worth your time, and how to get it installed. Later on, I'll dig deeper into how to use it and show you some advanced tricks. For now, think of this as the intro and basic setup guide. So what is the Comfy UI Environment Manager? Basically, it lets you run Comfy UI inside containerized environments. An environment is everything you need to run a Comfy UI workflow. This can include custom nodes, Python packages, versions of Comfy UI, and even model files. The point of having a well-constructed environment is knowing that a given workflow will always run as intended. Additionally, you can easily duplicate an environment before testing new custom nodes. If something breaks, you can just revert to your original environment. It also adds a layer of security since these environments are isolated from your main machine. Want to share a workflow with friends, students, or collaborators? Just send them your environment image and they'll get the same exact setup you have. No lengthy installation process, no fiddling with Triton or Xformers, and no hour-long tutorials needed. To get started, you'll need Docker Desktop installed, as well as Pinocchio. Once you have these prerequisites in place, you can grab the Environment Manager from GitHub and install it through Pinocchio. I've included links to Docker Desktop, Pinocchio, and the GitHub repo for the Environment Manager in the description below. All right, let's jump into the installation process and get you set up with your first containerized environment. First, you need to have a Windows or Linux machine. If you're on a Mac, just a heads up, you're currently limited to CPU only as Apple has yet to implement hardware acceleration in containers. You'll also need Docker Desktop, or if you prefer to forego the GUI, Docker Engine with the NVIDIA Container Toolkit and Runtime. You'll also need updated NVIDIA drivers and enough disk space for containers and dependencies. You'll also want the latest version of WSL if you're on Windows. Let's start with Docker. Head over to the link in the description for Docker Desktop. I recommend grabbing the AMD 64 version. Once it's downloaded, run through the standard installation. On Windows, after it's installed, you'll want to make sure WSL is up to date. Just open PowerShell as admin, and run wsl-update. Then verify that Docker is working by running WSL Docker dash dash version. If everything's good, you should see something like the Docker version number string. Next up is Pinocchio. Go to the link I've provided and download the correct version for your system. Once installed, open Pinocchio and click on discover in the top right corner. Then select download from URL. Paste the Comfy UI Environment Manager GitHub link into the first field. Leave the second field blank. And hit one click install with Pinocchio. This will handle most of the setup for you. Alternatively, you can download the Comfy UI Environment Manager application via community scripts in the Discover page. Just scroll down until you find my app and click download to install. Pinocchio might prompt you to install Docker Desktop. If it's already set up, just hit continue. In the sidebar, you'll see an option for install and update. Click that to start the setup. Once that's done, make sure Docker Desktop is running in the background, then click start to activate the server. If everything works, you'll see a message like UV Corn running on HTTP 000. 
That means it's working. Click Show Environments to open up the main interface. If you don't see anything right away, just wait a bit and hit Refresh. All right, that's it for the initial setup. At this point, you've got the Comfy UI Environment Manager installed, Docker's running, and you can now start managing your Comfy UI environments. In the next video, I'll dive into how to actually use this interface, setting up environments, configuring defaults, and understanding the difference between mounting and copying files inside containers. That's it for this one. Thank you to all of my patrons for your support. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.